In this week's episode, Millie Bobby Brown gushes about her friendship with Mariah. And it's officially Christmas, Mariah said so herself. All that and more coming right up. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And Halloween was upon us, it's come and gone. And now it's time to report about Mariah's season. Uh, yes, it's, it has officially begun. I it know, is time. I know. So we will talk about that, but we have to um, get into the festiveness of Halloween before we get to the festiveness of Christmas. Do you know what? I actually had like a cute Halloween. I didn't dress up or anything uh, this time around like I have in the past, but the pandemic kind of put a put Halloween on pause. You know, I haven't experienced Halloween for a couple of years now, at least like three years. But uh, as I've mentioned, I'm back in New York for work. And so I got to see the New York Halloween again. Yes, what are they doing? It was what back to doing? full swing, back to normal. Like nothing ever okay. happened. All right. <laughs> Everybody dressed up. All the kids were out on the weekend. And then all the little kids were out on Monday night trick-or-treating. Back to it. Back to normal. Yes. All right. Uh, well, I guess we. I guess that could be a good thing. I mean, I uh, I was working. Uh, so I, And you know I don't like to dress up. Mm -hmm. I don't like to do those things. Mm -hmm. and, but everyone else at work was dressing up. And I was like, well, I don't really dress up. And I don't want to be the only one not dressing up. Uh -huh. So I dressed up. What did you dress up? I dressed up as Clark Kent. Okay, Clark Kent. Because, like, at at work, we wear, like, a, you know, like, a vest and a tie. And, you know, like, very, like, buttoned up. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I just, like, wore a Superman t-shirt underneath all of that. And so I just, like, unbuttoned it all. Okay. And then I'm Clark Kent. So super simple. A classic. Can't go wrong. Right. Just like a witch and outfit. Exactly. Classic so it Halloween. Was perfect. It was perfect. And then that was all I did because you know I don't be celebrating. But I saw you over here in uh, West Hollywood. Mm. Oh, the streets were packed. Was there a parade out there? I think they do a parade or something. And then people just go, It's too. that's too much for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't need all of that. Absolutely not. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Me and my Clark Kent, <laughs> honey, we went home. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was wondering if Mariah was going to do any sort of party or anything like that. Because normally she does do a party. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The last time we saw her at, the, at like a party was um, pre-pandemic. In LA, was, right? I think no, she was in New York. Doing a Halloween with the party? Punk band, the punk band with Misty Copeland. The punk party. Yes. Yes. With Misty yes. Copeland. No, wasn't that, that was really but that was technically Heidi Klum's party. Yes, it was Heidi Klum's party, but that's not a Mariah right. party. She was the guest. Well, honey, if Mariah's there, <laughs> it is yeah. a Mariah party. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that was like the last time we saw Mariah sort of go to a party or have yes. like a big, you know, to do. Oh my gosh, you're right. Um, that was, a, oh my God, forever ago. I know. That was a good costume, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good costume. So I was wondering if we were going to get anything from Mariah, and we did, finally. The witch. Um, yes, the witch. Good the old witch. witch. Classic. And simple. Girl, you know, uh, it reminded me, you put on the black wig, put on the witch hat, mm -hmm. some high boots, done. Easy. You don't even have to think about it. Exactly. Lil Monroe was an angel. Mm -hmm. And what was Rocky? What was that? A uh, Minion. Can he breathe in there? Because that to me is just like a big balloon. And I'm like, girl, where, how is the air coming and going? What's happening? Because that's a hot air balloon right there. I don't know. Like, what? Because <laughs> when did you see his face? Actually, I think those things do have circulation because they're air, <laughs> the air fan the, is there like to make a fan it blow up. There? Yeah, what I think is there happening? is. I think there is. Oh, what in the blimp is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Can he see? I guess. Where are the owls? <laughs> Girl, I was confused. <laughs> uh, you okay. know, the kids love the minions. They're a thing. Oh, see, I don't know. I don't know the minions, but... As long as he didn't suffocate, girl, I was scared. <laughs> um, but but again, the Monroe, uh, these kids, they're getting so big. I loved it. I know. Well, actually, now that I think about it, maybe Monroe was a fairy. Oh, you know what? Is that what she was? Right. You know? I mean, only because in the book, now mm -hmm. we know that she's a little fairy. Yes. Yeah, in the in the Christmas book. I think she was in character. Yeah. But we'll talk about that later, in a moment. We'll talk about it later. Okay, but now I have to look at the pictures again, because I was like, I could have swore she was an angel. 
But uh-huh. what's uh, same girl? Same what's thing. the difference? Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get into all the Mariah talk of this week um, because she has been out hitting the streets, not yes. just trick or treating. Exactly. So we saw her go out again. She's been see. I'm loving the New York life for Mariah. Well, she's out and about, honey, yes. having a fabulous life. I know. We need more. She of wasn't this. doing nothing over there in Atlanta. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. Uh huh. Anyway, so we see her leave the house, and she was actually on her way to a uh, Netflix premiere. You see, I don't. I, uh, well, I know now, but I didn't know at the time. I was like, "What is this? Uh-huh. What is going on?" No, that's um. um Millie Bobby Brown's other show. Yes. So, because she's in Stranger Things. That's her big break. And then she's in Enola Holmes. Mm -hmm. And so they had a season two premiere of Enola Holmes. Now, when I'm scrolling through my Netflix, Enola Holmes is nowhere to be found on the suggestion list. It will now that you said it out loud. Now, yes. Now that all my devices are listening, Uh Enola Holmes will be trending number one. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So I'll finally figure out what it is. Um. So we saw Mariah and the kids went with her to that as well. Right. Gorgeous. Do you think Mariah's friends with um, Millie or the kids are friends with Millie? Well, that okay. So here's the thing. I think they're all, I think they're family friends. Family the whole friends, lot of them. Maybe. Because I, I think um, I saw a, a Miss Enola Holmes. What's her name? Millie Bobby Brown. Yes. She was on Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon and mm-hmm. she was talking about Mariah. And I was like, oh, my God, like, she's, like, legit, like, talking, talking. Mm-hmm. She's not just saying, oh, yeah, me and Mariah are friends. She was like, no, me and Mariah, we're girls. Like, we sing together. We do things together. Like, we chat. We chit-chat. I, we come over. We visit. And I was like, girl, what? First of all, <laughs> I didn't even know. When when I saw Millie Bobby Brown on Jimmy Fallon, yeah. I was like, she's a grown adult. She is. That's, this, that's a woman right there. I thought she was a child. No, she started off as a child. Okay, she's been around that long. Well, Stranger Things has been around for a minute now. Has it? Yeah. Uh, news to me, girl. But she she was very lovely, she, a lovely, sweet young woman there on mm-hmm. the Jimmy Fallon. Mm-hmm. So I was I was loving it. I was like, oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. I thought she was a kid, but um, she was talking interesting things about Mariah. Now, Jimmy Fallon was asking about singing with Mariah. Mm. And she said there could be some projects in the work that she has sung with Mariah. And what do we think that is? Yes, in in the booth, the vocals. I think we just don't need to overthink. I think she's uh, someone's ugly daughter. Oh, that's what I think. Do you think that? But here's the thing. Why do we want Millie Bobby Brown singing? We don't. We okay, we don't. Okay, so we don't. Thank you, thank you for clarifying. (laughs) They can have it over there. (laughs) We did not ask for any of this, and we don't want it. (laughs) But give it to her. We're gonna get it anyways. (laughs) We're gonna get it anyways. (laughs) No, as long as we're getting our Mariah Carey version of Someone's Ugly Daughter, the Millie Millie Bobby Brown people can go have it over there. Please, please enjoy, love it. And do it with Jamili Bobby Brown, but mm-hmm. I need my Mariah vocals. Exactly. Okay. So yes. there, there we have it. So <laughs> as long as both of those things are happening, that's fine. Yes. Whew, girl, the Millie Bobby Brown. Listen, two things can happen at once. She can have her it's version right. of it over there. We can have our version over here. Everybody's happy. Everyone's happy. Cheers, but we Toast on this podcast want to be clear <laughs> that we want the Mariah Carey version of that. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but we did, so we, we love everybody and we love that, you know, everybody loves everybody. Um, but there were some great pictures of Mariah. And, well, <laughs> there were some great pictures of Mariah and Millie Bobby Brown. That is a lot of words to name somebody, <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown she, at the premiere, like, cause they were like chatting with each other and mm-hmm. like posing for photos. We got yes. some cute photos from the two of them. Good photos. They look Mariah like looked they great. Really enjoy each other, yeah. How, now, have we seen again back to the American Idol days? Have we seen those looks in the American Idol era? I feel like I've seen that jacket before. I, I think the jacket we have seen before, but we saw it before American Idol. At maybe I think she wore it in in London or in Paris once. It was I was going to say like little, yes, leaving a hotel. 
Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. And I think she maybe was wearing um, all black or uh-huh. maybe she was wearing jeans. Can't quite remember. Um, what do they call those little tiny jackets? Like a, bo- I want to say not Barolo. I don't know. Is there a, a name little, for it? I think a there's shawl? a name for it. No, not a shawl. Like a little tiny short jacket is like a. Oh. Oh, don't get me. I'm not a, I'm not a fashion person. Where's the Mariah closet when you need it? I, exactly. Well, oh, the Mariah closet over there on Instagram. Oh, they got everything. <laughs> they got everything. Uh, so but she's anyways, hitting the streets. Yeah, looking good and fabulous, having yes. fun. Yes, yes. Interacting with all the people. I know. And good. she looks like she's having a good time as well. Yes, genuinely. Yes. Genuinely. I'm enjoying this uh, moment. Yes, absolutely. So we had those moments, and then we had a little bit of a TikTok moment or a viral social media where she was singing All I Want for Christmas is You a cappella. Mm-hmm. Warming up. Warming up, just getting, you know, her voice ready for yes. the season. Yes. And then um, then what comes in? A monster comes in and says, no, it's not time yet. Some sort of ghoul or something. And then yeah. a suspicious a child comes in as a gremlin. It's <laughs> a gremlin. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ah. Uh, so that's cute. Not the PTSD of the gremlin. Um, I know. I don't think they realize the gremlin's codified. <laughs> yes. Something else. Uh, no, no, no. So we got that little moment. And then, of course, we're thinking, well, November 1st, not only do we have the Christmas princess coming out, but Mariah has to announce yes. that it's time. Well, I'm surprised she announced it so soon in the season. Doesn't she always do it on November 1st? Is that what she did last year? I think so. Wait, November what did 1st. she do last year? Was that Last the one year was the was pumpkin in- that she smashed. Oh, oh, right, right, right. That was a good one. That was good. And then the... The year before that, she that was on the phone. First. She was on the phone with Santa. She Remember, was? like she goes to bed. Oh yes, and she and wakes up. Wakes up. Yes, and Santa calls her. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, she's done some good ones. She's done some cute ones, but this one was a good one. The new Honey, reveal. Now Girl, it's a thing. This, it's, I guess now okay. it's a thing. After this one, it needs to be a thing. Mm-hmm. Like we knew it was a thing, but like now, okay, there's budget involved here. Yes. <laughs> Honey, we got the good can't. She did not do this in her house. Mm-hmm. She did not do this in the bed. She could have done good. it in the other room. I'm sure there's Well, maybe it's in the other room, but <laughs> I'm sure the New York apartment now has you remember the the room for the guests with the two beds? I bet uh-huh. that's now the content creation room or something. Oh, okay. Okay. Where we're filming what, our videos. Where is she keeping her Peloton? In the content creation room. In, in the content room? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, either way, it looked amazing and it was fabulous. So she starts out as a wicked witch pedaling on her little Peloton bicycle. Right. And people were um, saying it gives us Bianca vibes. Very Bianca vibes. We love a Bianca moment. And good. It, it was a good witch. It was a good. The oh, witch the was cackling, good. Yes, the yes. cackling and everything. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the the calendar flies by, and it's November first, and now it's time. Exactly, and then she flips into Christmas mode, and now she's on a reindeer. Right. <laughs> I'm like, girl, super cute, amazing. She looks amazing. She looks great. She looks like she's having fun and smiling. <laughs> like, yes. Not that I'm telling her that she needs to be smiling, but she looks like she's just enjoying herself, and she's comfortable in front of the camera again. Mm-hmm. Again, it's all genuine feeling. All mm-hmm. of it is very much like she wants to be doing this. She's mm-hmm. loving it. Everybody's loving it. I was loving it. I watched it probably a hundred times. At least, yeah. At least. I kept watching it so over and over. We love it. We love it. Now, and then, of course, it goes super viral. Super viral, this one does. Yes, yes. Um, Everyone's sharing think, it around. Yes. Oh, honey. And it's on all the platforms. Uh-huh. So when you like... Compile, compile like the the numbers from Twitter, which I think are over twenty million, mm-hmm. and then all the TikToks and things. Mm-hmm. Um, I think um, that it received uh, in twenty four hours over one hundred million views across all platforms. So Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all of, like in less than a day. That's wild. One hundred million views. People love Mariah oh. again. She's back. <gasps> And it was so well done. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is like, this is the Mariah. Mm -hmm. This is the star. This is the diva. This is Mm -hmm. who we all love. Mm -hmm. And I loved Mm -hmm. it. I loved it. 
Um, what do you think about the Peloton integration? We're down for it, right? More. Give me more. Give me more. But I think it shows that there's a partnership happening and that we're probably, for those who own a Peloton, should expect some sort of Mariah Carey playlist. Something's going to happen with Peloton. Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe they'll do like um, a, a Mariah like discount code. And oh, so yes. like <laughs> some of the slams can get a Peloton. <laughs> oh, you want half off a Peloton bike? <laughs> Type Mariah or it's time or mm-hmm. Merry Christmas, something. That's what I want. Uh-huh, but uh-huh. we'll take whatever. I think it's cute. Yeah, why not? Do Partner it. with these people. Yeah. Do it. Everybody bought it. one in the, during the pandemic. You might as well tap into it. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Yeah. They're, they're very popular over there at the Peloton, biking way and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good, good cardio. It is. Heart health. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So that was fun. So now it's been declared. It's Christmas. We're in the Christmas season. Girl, and she's already hitting us with so many things. Bombarded So us. many things. Yes. So now the book is officially out. The Christmas Princess is officially yes. out. On and now it looks super cute. Yeah. Mariah did an unboxing video. Yes. With Monroe. And they, they're flipping through the pages and whatnot. Right. Um, super adorable. I like very that. Very cute. Yes, I like that Monroe is getting the acting skills up. Came in on cue right? with her lines. Okay, because when she came in, <laughs> when she came in that little video, I thought it was, I thought she really was just coming in randomly. No, girl, that's acting. <laughs> oh, she's got skills. Yes. Oh, she's got skills. She does, she does. I thought she was coming in to interrupt her mother. <laughs> just <Yeah>. natural. <laughs> no, rehearsed. Yeah. Honey, get this woman a check. Get this little girl a check, honey. Uh she was good. Uh-huh. She was really good. But what we see is um, we've been introduced to a whole other line of characters mm-hmm. in the book. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm very interested to meet Ladiva, who plays little Mariah's mother. Mm-hmm. And there's a couple other ones in there, too, that there's look very interesting. That looks very interesting. Yes. Uh-huh. So I'm, good. I, I'm actually going to go and get the book. I, I think I yet, want it. I'm going to get it. I know. What's what I, was, I was expecting just like sort of like the memoir, like some cute pictures front and back, maybe some in the middle and then mostly text. But the whole thing is anim- is um, got illustrations yeah. throughout. Yeah. It, lo- it mm-hmm. looks super cute. It is, yes. And it has um, all these cast of characters. And I think we need to know these cast of characters because I do believe this is going to be like a series of books. Mm-hmm. So you never know. They might, some of these characters might go into other books as well. Yes. So I'm, I want to get it. I'm going to get me a little Christmas princess book. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm gonna um, peruse the Barnes and Noble near me. Yeah, get it off the shelf. World. Yes, get it while it's hot. But get you know, here. when I click the link and I went to Amazon, it takes you to the Kindle version first. So if you need it right now, you can get the Kindle version. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Well, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. Um, we love that. Um, so yeah, um, so that's exciting. It came out, and then she also had the big billboard in Times Square with little Mariah yes. on it. Yes. Hmm. So and she's getting it out there, honey. Yeah. There's a lot of press. She's doing a lot of press mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. We're, we um, we got a USA Today article where she was talking about it. We got a People Magazine article where she's talking about it. Yeah, let's talk about the um, USA Today article because I was reading yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, it had like all the standard stuff in it. You know, she's got the book coming out, Little Mariah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then when she got to the part about getting back on stage at for the first time since the pandemic, and was talking about how she's going to sing some songs she never sang before. And then she's like, you know, I really just want to be my fans because we have unconditional love and, and all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here I go with my credit card on Ticketmaster. Click, click, click. Now I'm <laughs> buying a ticket <laughs> to the show. She got me. She got you, girl. That, <laughs> honey, just when you think you've read everything you need to on Mariah, she's going to come with that promo. Uh-huh. She's going to get you. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm going to the Friday show. <laughs> Okay, at Madison Square Garden. Yes. Okay, now did you get a good ticket? A In decent my, ticket. It's up the top. I want, you know, the budget's thin these days. Um, but it's real inflation. I like an eye all moment, so it's like a good eye all moment. Um, okay. I looked. I did. You know, you can like now you can like look up your seat and you can see what view you have, what the view is. I did that. I like. It's fine. I just need to be in the room. 
Exactly. That's it. You just mm-hmm. want to, you know, hear the music, be with the lambs, all that be kind of stuff. in the moment. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. So, no, we love that. We're down for it. And so yeah. now I'm glad you're going. I know. So I'll she report back. She got you. She, she got, got you. Me. She got you with that article. <laughs> See, she got you to buy a ticket and she got me over here racking my brain about things because she was, apparently she was misquoted in the USA Today article. Oh, really? Yes, because she said at one point that like, oh, she was talking about doing the the movie or the docuseries about the meaning of Mariah Carey. Mm. Um with Lee Daniels and she was like, Oh, we're looking for more of like um, someone who will be an actress. We don't have to worry about the singing part because I own all of my masters. Mm. So they they can just lip sync, you know, or whatever. Mm. And I was sitting here thinking, well, Oh, she has all her masters. Oh, well, I mean, I knew she had like most of them, but I didn't know she had all of them. And then a few days later, they retracted that statement because it was sort of like a misquote. Oh. So it's no longer in the article. Oh, that explains it. Because I did hear that rumor or that I did see that talk going around. And then when I read the article, I didn't read that part. You didn't see it. Mm-hmm. I got mm-hmm. to the somehow body, ended up buying a ticket somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ended it. Just, buy ticket, buy ticket. <laughs> That's all I read. Get yourself a ticket, you idiot. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. My goodness. No, because they had to take it out because it's not exactly true. And I think Mariah just simply misspoke. What she does own is all of the publishing Mm. for all of her music. But she Mm -hmm. doesn't own, like, the original masters to a lot of her earlier stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think that was just causing everybody, like, a whole bunch of commotion. But Well, the commotion comes from it's super expensive to buy all that stuff back. So Right. Exactly. And that's why I was like, girl, when did how much did she spend doing that or blah, blah, blah. But it's my understanding that after 25 years, all the original recordings are now up for auction. Uh. That's, that's what I was told once by somebody who was like in law school or something doing like that kind of work. Like after 25 years, masters are then like auctioned or you have the offer to like keep them or like sell them or something like that or buy them or, who knows? Interesting. So I was like, okay, well, it's been 25 years. So Mariah probably has definitely gotten as many as she could. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. It's all business. It's all business. It's all business. Stuff. Um, but if you want to hear us talking about random business stuff, you can always go catch us over there on the Patreon.com slash uh-huh. the Mariah Report. And you can sign up for $5. And you'll hear us talk about all kinds of things over there Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) from power outages to wigs that are askew, Uh all that and more (laughs) over there in the Patreon. (laughs) Exactly. It's a really fun time. Last week we did a live show. We had our Patreon members joining us live. Uh, We hook, we hook that up. Uh, We read out the comments over there at Patreon. And if you're unsure what it is, it's basically a blog page behind a paywall so when you sign up, you're supporting this podcast that you're listening to right now. Sign up. Um, you now have access to more content. So bonus content, bonus episodes. We have the show called Unplugged. And it's this show plus a pre-show, after show, unedited, as is raw tape um, there for you. So you also get stuff as well. So link is in the description. Sign up. Cancel anytime. It's a good time. It is a very good time over there. Very, mm-hmm. we got we got laughs galore. Yes, laughs galore. Um, okay, so let's see what else has Mariah been up to. There's a bunch of other small little things that are going on. In regards to Christmas, we have officially gotten they. We talked a little bit about it last week, but I think it's officially out now. Um, all those sort of like Bath and Body uh, products at Walmart and candles. The lambs have been seeing them. And yes. candles. Yes. Yes. So they are definitely out there. I know. Looking I'm curious, cute. curious to see what the candles smell like. I know. Well, I'm maybe I'm gonna make a trip, maybe like next week or something to Walmart or some somewhere. You need to investigate to that. Like. You need to investigate. Because I yeah. see that all the lambs out there on the social medias, they they got them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So we love that. That's and a good little stuffing Mariah. stuffer. You have to like get a white elephant present or something for Honey, work. Please. Yes. Absolutely. Go grab oh, that. Give it to everybody. 
-hmm. That's that's your gift. You get this Mariah cheap Mariah candle. Yes. <laughs> We love it though. It, look at the packaging looks great. Yes, yes. And the and and everything in the store looks really good. Like because it's in the like the middle of the aisle and it's like very prominently placed. Exactly. We love it. Um, and then while you're shopping, to, while the credit card's out, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna get you. Yeah. She's gonna get you. Head to um, the MariahStore dot com because there's new merch over there as well. Oh, New she's Christmas gonna get night. you online too, honey. Mm -hmm. She's gonna get you in person and online. So right. we got uh, new Christmas merch. Now, what did we get? We got like a, a cooking apron. We got um, what think, are the interesting? A, a little a, a little Jesus candle. Yes, you know them but like Mariah. Jesus yes, candles, yes, but Mariah. Yes. I don't know why I call them Jesus candles. Well, you're close. They're like they're like religious churchy candles. Churchy candles, you know, yeah. But this one's Mariah. Got the the classic Mariah, right? Well, because um, it, she might as well do that because people have been selling those things bootleg in the street. Oh, with very, Mariah, yes, very true, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, she so might as why well not make, make her own an official? Mm -hmm. Um, so we got a, a a bunch of stuff with the classic Mariah cartoon. We got like an enamel pin. Mm -hmm. Um, but the other thing, some of the merch, some of the other merchandise, like the clothing merchandise, it says like. Mariah Carey season mm -hmm. instead of like just like Merry Christmas or Mariah or All I Want for Christmas. I was like, all right, girl, mm -hmm. she claimed the season, claim it. Yes, the whole season, the whole thing. I mean, you know, <laughs> after that viral, honey, all of it, all of it. After that viral video, <laughs> um, a couple things happened. Uh, it went viral. Everybody, so now everybody knows Mariah is the queen of Christmas. And, yes. um, uh, what's her name? Darlene Hall, Darlene Love. Darlene Love. She officially was like, okay, maybe Mariah is the queen of Christmas. <laughs> yes. Well, to recap, refresh your memory, a few months ago, maybe a few weeks ago, uh, when, wait, what happened? There wasn't, no, Mariah was trying to trademark the queen of Christmas. Right. Darlene Love got wind of this and was outraged and was publicly saying that, no, Mariah is not the queen of Christmas. She is Darlene Love. And it became mm -hmm. a whole thing. It became an issue. Yeah. Well, she was just trying to get some retweets, but that's fine. It's that's fine. fine. <laughs> uh, but the radio picked it up. It became a whole headline around the place, like all over the place. So mm -hmm. fast forward to the Halloween transitional video. <laughs> um, <laughs> the transitional moment. This, yes. this transition of the season officially. Yes. Darlene was impressed with it and declared on Facebook, like, oh, maybe she is the queen of Christmas. So... Hopefully that yeah. feud is over now. Hopefully, hopefully, um, because also, Mariah put it on her T-shirt. So exactly, but also we forgot to mention like the next day after Halloween, all I want for Christmas starts charting again. Oh, it's already up there. Yes. Oh, oh, honey, the the streams are a streaming already. It's, it's back. It is back. The, it's all the way up there on the iTunes top one hundred. It's having you know big big stream days over there on Spotify. Yes. And you know the other thing that happened after this viral video is we had mentioned a few months back that there was a lawsuit against All I Want for Christmas is You. Mm -hmm. Down in New Orleans. And guess who? Yes. Guess who decided to drop the lawsuit? Uh huh. That man. See, everyone's come know, back around. See, now y'all are getting it. Y'all yeah. are waking up. Y'all are smelling the Mariah. Yeah. Now you see. Exactly. Once you was lost. Back off, <laughs> yes. people. <laughs> Mariah's got this. Right. So that's other good news as well. So Mariah uh -huh. is uh, doing... That's why she's so happy. I she's guess. like, all these haters, all these haters <laughs> finally turned back <laughs> onto the good side. Uh-huh, exactly. So we love that. We love hearing those moments. So, so yes. yes, the fun times are upon us, I guess. It feels, okay, oh. again, I think similar to Halloween, because the pandemic just feels like it has finally eased up on everybody. It isn't such a huge stress. I think people are ready to get out and have fun and be festive and have a good time this holiday season. Yeah, definitely. And we're going to be seeing a lot of Mariah coming up as well because... Um, just t today, we got a little sneak peek teaser uh, from one of your favorite early morning shows. That was a surprise. I know. I was watching my morning show, CBS Mornings, with Gail King, Nate, and Tony. And um, Mariah pops up. It was, she was like one of the 
talk of the tables of the day. And the, their conversation was, is it Christmas, actually Christmas season, November 1st? Because it's happening before Thanksgiving. So that was the, like, the regular mm-hmm. conversation. But I think I'm going to side with, um, there's like some Instagram memes going around. And it's like November 1, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas <laughs> continues. Yeah, Thanksgiving is just one day. A break. In it's a, a break. Season. Yes. Yeah, it's just a break. It's like the sil- here's the thing. And the other thing is so 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 anyways, to finish up the CBS morning. Oh yes, yes. Um uh they showed a little clip of Mariah. They're going to do a full interview next week with Gail. Yes, in Mariah's home. Right. Gor- she looked gorgeous. Really good. Cute outfit. We'll talk about Yes, we'll talk more about it next week when we do the full uh, thing. But she, honey, you know the Mariah Carey closet on Instagram? They already got her whole outfit and oh, really? jewelry. Really? Yes, all of it posted. Okay, I got it. I got to look that up. Check it out. Check it out. Rich, honey, is all I got to say. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> but also get into CBS Mornings. It's such a good show. <laughs> yes, honey. If they're showing Mariah love, then we're there. Yeah. But, okay, there was two other things where, um, okay, uh, when she was with the kids coming home from trick or treating, mm-hmm. somebody, one of the you know paparazzi or you know whoever was around there, was asking her about what she thinks of Thanksgiving, and she's like, "Oh no, we're still celebrating Thanksgiving. It's there." Mm-hmm. And then also on Twitter, Martha Stewart was saying, "Oh, someone needs to tell Mariah that we cannot skip Thanksgiving. Who doesn't love a turkey? Who doesn't love a turkey? Like, come on, Mariah." Uh-huh. And Mariah had responded. She said, Miss Martha Stewart, I would never even dream. <laughs> I wish I had the tweet with me. Wait, I totally um, missed that one. Oh, because I think it just happened. <laughs> like, oh. literally, like, a, if, pull up the tweet if you can. Maybe. Yeah. Um, um, while, I, while I say, because she was like, oh, Miss, Miss Martha Stewart, I would never, like, not do Thanksgiving and turkey and all that kind of good stuff. And she was like... Um, Pull it up and read it if you can. Okay, hang on. First, Martha's been talking on the TV. I think she was on this today. Yes. Because you don't like turkey. I, Mariah, you know me. I am a traditionalist with yes. a twist. And uh, you cannot give up Thanksgiving. Yes. Just because you don't like turkey. I yes. love turkey. And many, many other people love turkey. So do not think that we're going to give up Thanksgiving just because you say so. Mariah, you okay, first of all, she needs to calm down. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> slow down. No one said nobody anything. Said anything. No nobody said anything. anything. Nobody. Who brought turkey into this? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Who said? Didn't nobody say nothing about a turkey, girl? No. <laughs> that was I too didn't much hear already. Quote from Mariah talking about she didn't want no turkey. She didn't say that. Yeah, that was already over the top. On national television, talking like that. I know, I know. Martha, but, but we love Martha. She's hilarious. We do, yes. She's, she has a good sense of humor. But um, read Mariah's uh, response, because I think it is the perfect response. <laughs> okay, so Mariah tweets back saying, Dearest Martha, never, all caps, will I give up Thanksgiving, but we can still start getting into the festive spirit now. P.S. I'd love to have you at my Thanksgiving dinner, although... I've yet to be invited to your Thanksgiving extravaganza, and that is major, especially if Snoop is coming. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, because she's good friends with it. Snoop. Oh, ex- exactly, exactly. Martha. And mm-hmm. it's like, come, Martha, come on. Where's my invite? I'd see. Yeah, Mariah should go to a Martha Stewart Thanksgiving. I think it would be a, a great time, and you know, they she, should film it. Martha has a good house up there, upstate. Oh yes, in Connecticut, I guess. Not even Mariah upstate. and Mariah knows how to cook. She always be cooking for Thanksgiving. Yeah, all the time. But also, you know, maybe Mariah can sit one out. Let Martha do the Thanksgiving. Well, that's true. That's so true. She, she Mariah can rock up. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, I want to hear Martha. You have twenty four hours to respond. Yeah, yeah. We'll follow up on this <laughs> feud. Invite. Yes. <laughs> End one feud. So we start please- another feud. Exactly. Exactly. If it's not one thing, it's another. Um, but okay, we're going to wrap up this show. But also um, coming up in the Mariah television world is we have her coming on the Jimmy Fallon show. Mm-hmm. So don't miss that because we'll be reporting on it next week. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So there's lots of TV watching to do, lots of things to buy. We've got Honey, bu- we're busy. We're busy. <laughs> Booked and busy. Yeah. Holiday season. Exactly. 
and I'm getting a turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us again today on the Mariah Report. Don't forget, follow us at the Mariah Report on social media so you can share your feedback and comments. If you want to support the show, you can join our Patreon page. The link is in the description. Or you can support the show for free by going to Apple Podcasts and leaving a review or just even hit the five stars. That makes a big difference. It's, and that really does help the show grow, helps with the charts. Um, it really makes an impact. So please take two seconds to go do that if you had a good time. And we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support this show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.